They just took down a test wall that we had in place this past winter to study the VR value of vacuum insulated panels. A vacuum insulated panel is a panel of insulation that is made out of, usually it's some kind of bag that you can evacuate the air out of. And when you take the air out of it, it doesn't have a lot of conductive heat loss because there's not much to conduct through. These panels happen to have fiberglass inside them, but without the air, the R value is still very high. It's like R60 per inch. Fiberglass is like three and a half per inch. White supports four per inch. Worth looking at it because when you try to get to R60 using fiberglass or cellulose or beadboard, you have such such a thick, thick wall and it takes a lot of materials. If you were able to get that same R value in an inch, you have a lot less materials, a lot less labor. We wanted to see if we could build with these panels. They're pretty fragile. So we wanted to see what kind of construction practices we could use with these panels. And we still broke quite a few, because once you puncture them, they don't have any R value really at all. They're, you know, they're equivalent to fiberglass at that point. So we were trying to figure out the best way to build with them. And then the other thing was, well, we wanted to know, you know how effective they were with and without vacuum. They're rated at R60, and they averaged, their R value averaged actually better than R60 per inch. The colder it was, the better they did. So it's definitely a game changer in construction.